We live in a complex world, that is why the human psyche is always complex and mysterious. Since man left the natural and simple life and entered the age of civilization, his life became a group of psychological problems that are difficult to understand, solve and eliminate. This is the world in which we live in today and these are the scenes of our psychological life as presented in the book Surrounded by Psychopaths by Thomas Erickson. This book that says that human beings and their lives differ greatly from other beings because of the complexity of their lives, so the more we understand this psychological life, the greater our understanding of all the strange and abnormal behaviors of them. This book is not only important because it shows these behaviors, but also because it clearly indicates that we are surrounded by psychopaths and we need to pay attention to them, and they are much more than we can ever imagine. Surrounded by Psychopaths by Thomas Erickson The writer tells a strange story that happened to him when a girl stalked him as he always communicates with some of his readers. As a result, that girl sent a message to his fiancée telling her that they were in a relationship for a long time, which created a kind of mistrust and suspicion between the writer and his fiancée. This situation lasted for six months until the police stopped her. What matters about this behavior is not its widespread on social media. Rather, the most dangerous thing is that it indicates a kind of psychological disorder that affects many of the people around us. And the writer says that 4% of the people around us are psychologically disturbed. What is interesting about all of this is not that it is weird or abnormal, but also that the psychopaths have an amazing and unlimited ability to harm us and those who are close to us. This is only an example among many worse and more dangerous examples that affect our lives and our psychological and social stability. After presenting this example that shows how a psychopath can harm you, we can ask the following question, what is the meaning of a psychological disorder? The term psychological disorder was used for the first time in the 1960s. Oddly enough, many people simply use it to describe some people that they don't like, even though the term is scientifically accurate. That is why psychologists use another definition to describe the state of psychopaths, which is, in need of special care. Although some prefer such resonant definitions, this does not hide the dangerous impact of psychopaths on our reality. We won't be exaggerating in saying that the risk of psychopaths is greater than that of schizophrenics. Because the consequences resulting from psychological disorder are worse, and it is enough to mention that these psychopaths are the ones who commit crimes such as emotional blackmail, rape, deceit, fraud, and grand theft. This indicates that psychopaths do not commit their crimes in a way that attracts attention. They are here in our midst living like everyone else. To make sure of this, we should pay attention to a set of characteristics that psychopaths have, perhaps the most important of which are, decency and attractiveness, extreme self-esteem, guilt-free, cruelty and lack of empathy, aggressiveness towards society, intrusion. Bit to remember, a psychopath can do anything to achieve his desires, and life is full of psychopaths, so we need to be wary of them by knowing their characteristics. Everything in this existence is controlled by certain standards. Therefore, psychological disorder requires us to have ways that can protect us from these psychopaths that exist in our life. Perhaps the most important ways to protect ourselves are as follows, increase your self-awareness. This means paying attention to your weaknesses so that psychopaths do not take advantage of them, as they are people who have the ability to use them ruthlessly. That is why, your best defense is to be extremely watchful of those who seem to focus their attentions on your weak points. Learn how to recognize psychopathic behavior, this would prevent the harm of psychopaths, because a psychopath does not care about our feelings at all. We are just prey or victims, nothing else. Decide how much you value your own worth and self-respect, this means that the lower our self-esteem, the greater the chance that we will be targeted by psychopaths, because these people are like wolves that choose their victims, whether weak, small, or lonely sheep. That is why we must pay attention to the level of self-confidence, as it protects us from these human wolves. Our problem in this life as humans, is that we are perfectly emotional beings, and most of our decisions are random or away from logic and reason. This confirms what the author indicated that we are not very good in making our various decisions. 
And as long as the controller of all these decisions is the overwhelming emotions, then we become an easy prey for those who master the art of playing on feelings and emotions. We notice this in our relationship with psychopaths, and in the smallest details of our daily lives. As we may be victims of salesmen who master the art of marketing and playing on our emotions. And here, we may ask the following question, who practice psychological manipulation? They are simply the ones who don't mind manipulating people's emotions and exploiting trust. Their victims are often people close to them because there is a deep trust between them. People who can manipulate your emotions and feelings can be summarized as follows, family members and associates, wife or husband, business friendships and various forms of fellowship. Bit to remember, in this life, the human being is required to protect himself from psychopaths, and our overwhelming emotions and feelings are the main reason to our manipulation. There are many methods created by psychologists to protect ourselves from psychopaths, and the writer presents one of them to warn of the danger of staying surrounded by idiots and psychopaths. Let's start with knowing how to translate behavioral patterns into colors according to what is called the DISC personality evaluation system. Red refers to the behaviors you see in the motivated forward-looking problem solvers and task-oriented individuals. Yellow refers to extroverted relationship people who communicate easily with everyone. Green refers to reserved and introverted people. Blue refers to introverted and task-oriented people who like things to be well-ordered and want to work methodically and with structure. But to understand these behavioral patterns well, we also need a deeper explanation, as the easiest way to identify the red color is to look into his eyes, and you will see persistence and determination in them. As for the yellow color, you will know him by his smile, and this indicates that he is a heavily social being. As for the green person, it is enough to know him by his conservatism and tolerance. Blue is the symbol of control and commitment. The blue person only smiles when the situation demands. He is obsessed with analyzing everything. Various manipulators use different methods in order to persuade, circumvent and deceive to achieve their personal goals, but we must detect and know the motives of these people to proceed in their manipulative projects. Overt motives are the obvious motives used by sellers and brokers for example. Hidden motives, for example, what banks do, as they are not always clear in everything they do with their customers. Hidden and secret motives, we are talking here about malicious intentions that some people use against us. This will lead us to an important result in this regard and it is related to what we said previously, which is that the red color is considered a psychopath, and it is a rare behavioral pattern. There are some studies that confirm that the more you are promoted in a certain institution, the greater your chance is to meet psychopaths, especially those with a red color. It's simply because the higher you go, the stronger the wind and the competition. The common factor between the psychopath and the red person is the ability of both to face difficulties at all levels. Bit to remember, knowing the behavior patterns begins with recognizing their colors. There is a close relationship between psychopaths and those with a red behavioral pattern. In every part of this wide world there is something that is being manipulated, but is manipulation always a negative thing? Absolutely not. Simply because manipulation is an integral part of the structure of this cosmic system and the social life that we all live. In order to become more clear, it is enough to point out that for example, when the doctor is trying to persuade a patient to change his diet fearing for his health, he uses methods of persuasion and manipulation, but with their positive perspective. Manipulation is not always a negative thing that means deception, forgery and falsification. On the contrary, it may sometimes have a positive perspective that can be used to change things by knowledge and awareness to fulfill a good and avoid an evil. To realize the difference between negative and positive manipulation, it is enough to use the following two examples, the negatively manipulative person uses methods that rely on deception and cheating, such as, persuading someone to borrow money or deceiving him. But if a person wants to encourage someone to work or comfort someone in order to be psychologically stable, then this manipulation turns into something positive as long as it serves the interests of others. 
In order to make a connection between manipulation and behavior patterns that depends on colors, it is necessary to refer to the manipulations resulting from these colors in order to differentiate easily and therefore acquire many methods of protection. As for the red color, he always tells you that his idea is much better than yours, but rather he convinces you that if you do not see the advantages of his idea, that is not because it is not clear, but because you are mentally slow. As for the yellow person, he is smarter in terms of his ability to speak, and people are often impressed and charmed by his words. And because the green person is somehow vague and mysterious, he also uses particular manipulation methods that may not arouse attention as he prefers hinting over direct speech, he sows the seeds of the idea and waits without any haste or hurry. As for the blue person, he is a persuasive person to a large extent as he uses realistic arguments. That is why this type uses sales and marketing in their various levels and forms. Bit to remember, positive manipulation is required as long as it serves the interests of others, and it is a part of our social life, also it is used by different people with their different types of personalities.